my god! What do they do to my boy Nemesis? There is a problem with the modern Resident Evil remakes. Let me clarify that I thoroughly enjoyed both of the remakes. This includes Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. I don't think they're bad games, but they are far from perfect remakes. So today, I wanted to answer the question, why do so many people hate the modern Resident Evil remakes? Weren't they meant to enhance the original games from the 1990s? Or were they not? Before we can dive into these games, we first need to go back in time, all the way back to the early 2000s, when Shinji Mikami directed the original Resident Evil remake. Capcom made a hit classic with Resident Evil from 1996, and in the 2000s, they finally had the team and the technology to make a proper remake. Starting with the foundation of Resident Evil 1, they found a way to build upon that foundation, improving the graphics, adding new enemies, adding new rooms and locations, new modes, and even cutscenes. This game truly set the bar for Resident Evil remakes. Years down the line, Capcom would announce a remake for Resident Evil 2. It originally had fixed camera angles until they shifted development and wanted to take a different approach. The game switched to a third-person perspective, and Capcom went hard at work. In 2019, we got our first modern Resident Evil remake. Resident Evil. The game launched with massive success. Streamers, YouTubers, everybody was talking about this game. Even people who never played Resident Evil before really had a great time with the RE2 remake. It almost felt like Resident Evil 4 again, where it was a lot of people's first Resident Evil game ever, with fluid controls, amazing graphics, really good ragdoll effects and gore effects, amazing cutscenes, decent voice acting, and overall just a whole ton of fun. But even though a lot of people loved it, it had quite a few flaws. The main one was the second scenario. The game has something called an A and B scenario. In the original Resident Evil 2, you could play as Leon, and you could leave an item for Claire. So when you go back and play as Claire, you can go find that item and pick it up. And the Resident Evil 2 remake didn't have that. The problem that a lot of people had was the B scenario was way too similar to the A scenario. The major difference was the final boss fight and the orphanage. In addition, there was a lot of people that didn't like the lab section. Many people found the original lab from the original game to be scarier, and they felt like the new lab was very copy and paste and very bland. The DLC was also a problem for a lot of people, having to pay for costumes and the original soundtrack? You know, one of the most iconic things from the original Resident Evil 2? I don't... Anyway, the success was so massive for the Resident Evil 2 remake that it ended up sparking a sequel, and in December of 2019, Capcom announced the Resident Evil 3 remake. Fans were excited. Even though the Resident Evil 2 remake wasn't perfect, many people wanted to see what Capcom would do with the new upcoming sequel. Mr. X was one of the most iconic enemies from Resident Evil 2. It was creepy trying to listen and hear his footsteps roaming around the RPD. Fans wanted to see what Capcom would do with Nemesis, a much stronger and faster and more ruthless enemy. Would he be like the neighbor from the Hello Neighbor game, where he would adapt to your playstyle and learn how you play, leap off of buildings and scare you when you least expect it. <sighs> no, none of that happened, unfortunately. In April of 2020, the Resident Evil 3 remake was released, and fan reception was not good. The game was short for a lot of people. On my first playthrough, I beat the game in 5 hours, and I explored everything, and I literally mean everything. I stopped to look at the scenery, I stopped to collect every item, I tried to explore every part on the map, and I still beat the game in 5 hours. The game had a lack of puzzles, there was maybe one decent puzzle in the subway, but other than that, the game had basically no puzzles. Many people found the boss fights to be not so great. The final boss was completely changed from the original, and two of the boss fights were straight up copy and paste. The only difference is you fight one in front of the clock tower. Oh, yeah, the the clock tower was cut out too. Did, did I? 
Did I mention that, guys? Guys, guys, did I mention that yet? And the second fight was basically trying to kill Nemesis with acid. In addition, the Resident Evil 3 remake didn't even have a Mercenaries mode. Mercenaries was one of the most iconic modes in the original game, and Capcom completely scrapped it in the remake. Fans were not happy, tons of videos were made, tons of downvotes were left on the game, and overall the Resident Evil 3 remake left a very bad taste in people's mouths. And to make matters worse, Capcom tacked on a free to play multiplayer game, Resident Evil Resistance. Hoping to complete the package, Resident Evil Resistance was not very fun for a lot of people. The game had balancing issues, server connection issues, and it was very, very buggy. Even though the Resident Resident Evil 3 remake ended up selling fairly well, it still didn't sell as well as its prequel Resident Evil 2. Or if you think about it, it's sequel because both games happened at the same time. Anyway, so what's the big deal? Why were the remakes such a problem for a lot of people? Even though many people prefer Resident Evil 2 over 3, both games still had many flaws. I've seen people straight up say that they hate Resident Evil 2. They don't like the remake at all. People have argued that the new games don't capture the same magic as the original. And personally, I agree. Again, I don't think either of these games are bad games. But after playing the original games, I can agree that they don't really capture the full magic. I love the remakes. Again, I've played so many hours out of these remakes. But something about the original games just did something a little bit better. And I know what some people are going to say. Oh, it's just nostalgia. You guys are just rotting off of nostalgia. No. I disagree. I don't think it's nostalgia. Much like Resident Evil 4, a lot of people get mad at other people for liking the game because they say that we're only liking Resident Evil 4 because of nostalgia. Like, no, Resident Evil 4 is subjectively a great game, and I would argue that it's factually a great game. It has amazing game design, game design that no other video game to this day has been able to replicate. But as I said earlier, the Resident Evil 1 remake is considered the best remake out of all three of them, and there is a reason for that. Think about it, when the original Resident Evil 1 was released, it sold millions of copies. And what franchise would take a game that works so well and ruin it oh oh i forgot about that franchise but seriously what franchise would take a game that worked so well and just ruin it oh i forgot about that franchise too Okay, basically what I'm trying to say is it worked so well. The original Resident Evil 1 was a hit for a reason. It reinvented the genre. It reinvented survival horror. Shinji Mikami was a mastermind. He knew what he was doing. Take the original piece and just enhance it. Make it better. Improve the graphics. Because as time evolves, people want graphics to evolve. And rather than take away from the game, add to the game. And if something didn't work in the original game, just find a way to reinvent it. Crimson Heads were added to the game. Lisa Trevor was added to the game. New locations and rooms. And even the soundtrack was redone. And it still finds a way to capture the same theme from the original game. A remake is a game where you take the original and you enhance it. You find a way to make it better. A reimagining is basically what they did with the Resident Evil 2 and the Resident Evil 3 remakes. They took the original games, they took those concepts, and they completely redid it. So even though I call these new games remakes, let's be real here, they are not remakes. So what makes a great remake? Well, basically to summarize it in one image, this. This right here makes a great remake, and more games need to replicate and do what this game did right here. I don't think anybody could argue over the fact that the remake was a much better version of the original game. I feel like newer Resident Evil fans are going to be like, well, obviously the new games are better. They have better graphics and better mechanics and better gameplay and cutscenes. True, I would agree. I do think the games obviously have better cutscenes, better graphics, better and more polished gameplay, but it's not about the way the game feels, it's about the magic. For example, the upcoming Resident Evil 4 remake, 
The game is going to have great graphics. It's going to have great audio design, but is it going to be able to capture the same game design from the original game? When you walked into that village for the first time in Resident Evil 4, you had no idea what to expect. It was creepy. It was eerie. You had no idea what was going to be waiting for you around the corner. And the moment you made noise, the entire village was coming after you. The game was basically Dark Souls. They didn't care if it was the beginning of the game or not. They wanted to give you everything they had. So how is the remake going to be able to capture that same feeling? And no, making the game take place at night doesn't automatically make a video game scary. And that's actually going to be a video I plan to make in the future. What makes a Resident Evil game scary? But just because Resident Evil 4 is getting a remake does not automatically assume that the remake is going to be better than the original. I think the remake is going to improve on things like the graphics and the sound design, but is it going to be able to capture that same feeling from the original game? Another example is a lot of people don't like the way Resident Evil 4 controls, but the game was made that way on purpose. If the original Resident Evil 4 had the same controls as modern Resident Evil remakes, the game would not be as intense and it would not be as difficult. The game is made that way to limit the player so it can teach you how to combat those systems. Just because the newer games are shinier and have better graphics and better sound design does not automatically subjectively mean that they are better than the original. If you put graphics and sound design and controls to the side, you have to think about game design, pacing, and magic. And when I say magic, I mean how do these games capture that same feel and dread from the original games. In other words, I love the remakes. I feel like I have to keep repeating that, but I just want to say that again. I don't think they're perfect games, but I love them to death, and I think they're fun to play. But as remakes, or in other words, reimaginings, they are not entirely better than the original games. And I feel like a lot of people, all a lot of people can agree with me on that. But I want to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. That has been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.